Hey guys, it's David here, and um, I finally got my internet issue worked out, so now I can make a blog for everyone. I'm sorry it's taken me so long <laughs> to get in around to this. I know I haven't made one since I've gone back from Asia, but I am glad to be back, and now I'm back in Utah, which is great. I had an amazing time in Asia, and it's just so great getting to go to Indonesia and Vietnam for my first time and also going back to Malaysia and the Philippines. So uh, I just want to thank all the fans again. I know it's been a been a, a while since I've been there now, but I just can't thank you guys enough for everything and just for the amazing experience and time and welcome from each of the countries there. And it was so fun getting to do the shows. I hope you guys enjoyed the Asian tour edition of The Other Side of Down too, with the four new songs on on the the edition but uh yeah i've just kind of been uh taking it easy a little well, a little easy since then uh, i've had a few meetings just kind of um i guess preparing for the future and uh i'm have another meeting this week and then i'll also be doing a, just a little photo shoot too um i'm starting to get kind of ready for um getting ready for just kind of doing some promo um, well a couple of other performances are coming up but also just doing some promo for the the Mormon Tabernacle Choir Christmas special on PBS that's coming out this year and the CD and DVD that are coming out so that'll be exciting um, I can't wait for uh, I know there are a lot of people at all the show uh, uh, the four shows that we did last Christmas but um, can't wait for those of you who weren't able to go to be able to to see or to listen to the performance in the show. It was an amazing experience. So uh, it was fun, fun and good times. Uh, another thing I've been doing, I when I was in LA, other than meetings and things, I was I just wanted to take some time off just to kind of relax and kind of. Uh, uh, decompress. I don't know. That's what my English teacher used to say, but I'm not sure what it means. Uh, I know I, I went on, went hiking, uh, just took some time with nature. I'm actually hoping to do some more of that. I, it was really just, whew, it helped so much getting to do that. Um, was just a good time. And then also while I was there, um, uh, I was able to meet, there was this, Okay, I want to talk to you guys about this kid I met. His name's Marius. And uh, I met him. I was able to have dinner with him. Um, he was staying at the Ronald McDonald house. He was there for some surgery. Um, uh, you can go to his website, actually. It's called um, teammarius.org. T-E-A-M-M-A-R-I-U-S dot org. But I just wanted to read a little bit about him. So here on the the front of his page it says um, so he is a nine-year-old Romanian boy who was severely burned in a, in a November 2007 fire in his home that killed both of his parents when he was admitted to the hospital he had burns many fourth degree covering 75 percent of his body including his face since then all of his fingers have been amputated because they were so badly damaged he was treated in what is considered one of Romania's most advanced hospitals however the treatment received minimal um, he's um, so it's hard, it's a really sad story to hear what he went through. Um, uh, but meeting him, he has, he has one of the brightest lights in someone you could see, you know, his eyes just have a really, uh, good light in them and just has a really strong spirit in him. So for being a, now he's, uh, 12 years old, I think, um, <laughs> sorry, um, but he's, a. Uh, He's just an amazing kid. He was really great to to meet and spend time with, and also his friends and family that I got to meet. And just a real special kid. And despite what he's gone through, he's been able to get some um, uh, reconstructive surgery, and that's what he was in town for. Um, he was going through a 22-hour surgery, and so um, after I had dinner with him, and he went to the hospital, um, we went to go visit him again, and it was just real cool. Um, he couldn't say much. He he wasn't allowed to like um, move his mouth too much because that's where his surgery was being done. But it was crazy. Like they had to get you know um, skin from his uh, from his arm to put on his face and to make up for his arms. 
the loss of skin on his arm, they had to get some from his leg. It, it was just crazy. But um, no, he's he's a real cool kid. If you want to check it out, like I said, you can go to teammarius.org, and um, it, it was a privilege getting to meet him. And just uh, uh, since they amputated his fingers and things and his uh, hands, they he actually that had, had to like um, um, take his his toes and put them on his on his um, to make uh, fingers on his hands so it's it's really amazing it was amazing to see like what our human body can do and just how it can react to things like that but he it was really cool it made me look at things differently and made me appreciate things more and just to see that despite what we may be going through and what we what we may be lacking that you can still be a happy cheerful cheerful person so uh, anyway just uh wanted to let you guys know about that and just kind of my experience with um, with that a little bit and, and meeting Marius and just uh, with Asia and spend more time in LA. Gonna try and spend more time with nature. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's all I have to say for now because it's gotten to six minutes and I always make these longer than I intend. But uh, I'm gonna spend some more time with my family this week. Uh, I saw my mom perform um, she's singing, uh, and she might be singing again this week, so it'll, um, I'll see what happens, but, uh, I'll try and be better about keeping you guys posted, but, uh, um, yeah, till next time.